few shots in the second half don't start going in, can can sometimes that be contagious? Or I guess how would you guys qualify or classify sort of the one for 17 start in the second half? We'll start with Kobe and then Hunter. Um, I feel like sometimes it's just the way the ball bounces. Um, obviously, we didn't we didn't get out to a great start in the second half, but we stuck through it, and um, the outcome just wasn't what we wanted. Hunter. Yeah, no, I agree. Um, you know, I feel like we had a couple good licks in there. Uh, like Kobe said, sometimes, you know, the ball just doesn't fall in the hoop. Andrew in the second row. Uh, you know, with your NCAA tournament hopes very much in doubt, I guess, how do you kind of assess, um, yeah, the season at large, given that what your goals were? Hunter? Uh, we talked about in the locker room that, you know, we'll wait till uh, we get back um, to talk about it as a group. Other questions for the student athletes? We'll go to the second row. Yeah, so Rutgers forced 14 turnovers, I think it was that game. And just some of the things they're doing defensively down the stretch really slowed you guys down. I guess, what did you see that made it so difficult? Kobe? Uh, I give give credit where credit is due. Obviously, Rutgers is a very, a very good defensive team. Um, me personally, I felt like I probably played my worst brand of basketball on the worst day to play it. So seven turnovers is unacceptable, but give credit where credit is due. They're a very good defensive team. Tony in the front row. That was gonna sort of, sort of be my same question, but I guess uh, you guys had cut it to one. It was 40 to 39, uh, and then they hit a free throw, miss a free throw, get the rebound, put it back. That sort of started a 12-0 run. Um, was that deflating at all? Or I guess, could you guys just talk about that moment and what that sort of started? Hunter. Yeah, um, you know, it is a little deflating. Uh, just a miscommunication um, between us, um, the guys out there. And uh, that's something we practice a lot and um, unacceptable. I mean, the coaches emphasize it, um, you know, in practice and in timeouts of uh, one guy declaring the shooter, one guy um, pinching in. And so that's just, on the players on the floor to do a better job of communicating to one another. Go back to Andrew in the second row. I know it's hard to tell sometimes when the shots aren't going in, but but what did you make of I guess the overall effort, especially maybe the last the last ten minutes of the game? Kobe. Uh, I feel like our effort was there. Um, I mean, when shots don't fall, you know the the game becomes tougher. But I feel like that's no excuse on the defensive end. And um, yeah, just just unfortunate. Second row in the middle. You guys got out to a lead in the first half, and that was cut to just three at halftime. What kind of adjustments did you try to make at halftime, and how do you think you tried to implement them, and how do you think you maybe fell short? Hunter. Um, at halftime, we knew offensive rebounds was a big area of um, concern. They had eight, and so then um, you know we limited it to only four. In the second half, but 12 offense rebounds for a game is too much. Um, you know, it's already hard when we give up uh, 14 turnovers, two of which were mine. And so when you give them another 12 extra opportunities on top of that, that's 26 um, extra possessions for them. And that's super hard for any team to, you know, try to come back from. And so for us, we just got to do a better job of, you know, making sure that coach always says that, you know, every possession matters so much. I'm just really trying to. Um, concentrate on that uh, motto. We have time for a few more for the student athletes. We'll go in the middle, third row. Uh, just the biggest lesson and biggest takeaway that you guys will take in uh, hopefully to next season. I guess Hunter, starting with you. Hunter. Um, I think it was just a really good lesson for uh, the younger guys because uh, we had a pretty young team. Um, and so I think it was just really good experience for them uh, to realize you know, how much these opportunities mean and how quickly they can go, um, especially once you get to March when, you know, you only got one game, uh, like Coach always says, one game series. And so, um, you know, you just got to play your heart out. Um, every little mistake really adds up in the end. And so you just got to try to take every possession, um, you know, and, and, and have that possession mean everything for you. We'll take two more right hand side, third row. How frustrating is it for you to? Be the really only one get it consistently going and to attract those double and triple teams in the post? Uh, I mean, it, it's uh, I've been getting double teamed all year, and so, um, you know, I kind of had to accept that. Um, this game, though, I, I should have did a better job of, you know, trusting my teammates. Um, I think that's one thing. If I could go back and change is, you know, just try to kick it out a little bit more 
Um, you know, I, I should have trusted my teammates more. They're obviously more than capable. Um, we got guys who, you know, will be playing professionally um, someday whenever they choose. And so I got I to do a better job as a leader um, to trust my guys and instill that confidence in them. We'll go on the left-hand side. Last question for student athletes. Hunter, uh, did you see Rutgers do anything differently coming out of halftime um, to affect your scoring in the paint today? Uh, I think they were um, helping a little bit more in the paint, um, you know, just digging a little bit more, helping a little bit more. I think in the first half, uh, I had a little bit um, more of a one-on-one -on -one opportunity, and I think in the second half, uh, they were trying to collapse a little bit more. All right, you guys can head back to the locker room. We'll continue with questions for Coach Howard. Great job, folks. Go Blue.